it is easy to be captivated by a great story. And if the person telling the story is a magician of words, it's not hard to be drawn to them. The words used in stories help us imagine other worlds, and for the Cochiti people, their worlds are part of a strong oral storytelling tradition. The Cochiti Pueblo, located west of Santa Fe, is home to the first storyteller. Created by Helen Cordero, storytellers are a depiction of an elder sitting down, telling a story, while the little listeners are gathered around to hear these stories. Geres, the language spoken by the Cochiti, is not written, nor is it a descendant of other languages. This is what is known as language isolate. Because of this, oral stories are important as it helps the language be passed down generation to generation. According to Cochiti culture, stories are told to keep those words alive and never forgotten. Once spoken, they will always exist. The first storyteller was created in 1964 by Cordero for a folk art collector, Alexander Girard. However, ceramic Wachiti figurines can be traced back to 400 AD. Figurines like humans and animals were often depicted in Cochiti pottery, but with the arrival of the Spanish, the creation of these figures were forced to stop, resulting in an erasure of this art for hundreds of years. It wasn't until the 1800s when ceramic Wachiti figures were once again created openly. The 1800s brought the railroad to the West, along with new forms of entertainment like the circus. Cochiti potters created caricatures of these shows in the forms of large ceramic figures. The new people that were settling in the West were not welcoming of these figures and restrictions on these creations were once again placed on the Cochiti. Determined to never experience censorship again, Cochiti potters created figurines depicting themselves at a fraction of the size. The railroads also brought tourists who immediately took a liking to these figurines, and because of their size, were easy to take back home. Cordero began creating figurines in the 1950s, and much like the tourists who came out west, Alexander Gerard was taken aback by these creations. Enchanted by her works, Gerard not only purchased all the figurines, but also asked for her to create more over the years. One of those requests was of a larger figure and have children included. This request is what inspired Helen to create the first storyteller. Storytellers are composed of a large central figure whose mouth is open and smaller figures either surrounding it or on them. The first attempt at creating Gerard's request was an interpretation of the singing mother, a female figure with an open mouth and a child in her arms. Cordero changed her mind though and created another figure. This one was male with little listeners, a name she gave these smaller figures that surrounded the male storyteller. She decided to make the figure male since in Cochiti culture, men traditionally told the stories. The figure was inspired by her grandfather, Santiago Quintana. Cordero has stated that her first storyteller was also a self-portrait as one of the little listeners surrounding her grandfather was her. This piece, once completed, became the basis of this now popular work of art. Due to their popularity, other artists from different pueblos have also created storytellers. The figurines have also not just been male, but some have been made in the form of women and animals like dogs, bears, and frogs. This storyteller was created by Akama Potter Velmachino and is currently displayed in the music room of the Taylor Messia Historic Property. Do you have a favorite story that you love to tell others? What's your favorite story that you like to hear?